Maltese. An adorable ball of fur, the Maltese has a lot going for him. Amaze your friends with these interesting facts about the popular royal dog breed. Welcome to Animal Facts. I'm Leroy, and today we're discussing the much-loved pup, the marvelous Maltese. I'm Leroy. And I'm Melody. And, and this, this is Animal, Animal Facts. Facts. Let's get started. But before we start, take a moment to like and subscribe for more fun fauna facts. Let us know about your doggy in the comments below. Number 10. The Maltese dog is the oldest of the toy breeds and has been around for more than 28 centuries. They originated on the island of Malta and when the little dogs were brought back to England by the early crusaders, they became the little darlings of Britain's royal women. The Maltese made its first American appearance at a Westminster Kennel Club show in 1877 called a Maltese Land Dog. It currently enjoys being one of the more popular toy breeds. Number 9 a Maltese may be small, but he's not all fluff. These little dogs only weigh between 4 and 7 pounds, 1.8 to 3.2 kilograms, but their sprightly prance, keen attention to their surroundings, affectionate personalities, and devotion to their humans make them a huge part of their owners' lives. Number 8 According to the American Kennel Club, Egyptian artifacts of Maltese, or Maltese-like dogs, have been found, which means ancient Egyptians likely worshipped the breed. Greek pottery dating from 5 AD shows images of small, long-haired dogs like the Maltese, and according to the 18th century religious scholar Carolus Maria de Ville, ancient Greek writings by historians like Strabo mention small, pretty dogs known as Catelli. Number 7 There's no doubt that part of the Maltese allure is its beautiful white hair, not to be confused with fur. Like human hair, the Maltese white locks grow and occasionally fall out. They don't shed like most dogs. According to the AKC, no breed is guaranteed hypoallergenic, but the Maltese won't bother some allergy sufferers. The dogs were specially bred by Roman emperors to have that white coat we know today. The color white was sacred to the Romans, who wanted their pets to exhibit an air of divinity. Number 6 over the course of his existence, the breed has had a number of different monikers. Some include Comforter Dog, Maltese Lion Dog, Maltese Terrier, Roman Ladies Dog, Shock Dog, and the Spaniel Gentle. Number 5 Maltese have profuse coats, meaning they need a lot of attention. To keep their hair silky and white, they need to be brushed daily. Most non-show owners prefer to keep their dogs in a puppy cut to avoid having to constantly groom them. Number 4 Though they be but little, they can jump. They also seem to have no fear of gravity and have no problem leaping out of your arms or off high ledges. So let's try to keep our fur babies off balconies. Number 8 Maltese make great therapy dogs because they're loving and small, which means they can cuddle right up to whomever they're trying to help. While any size dog can be a therapy pet, small dogs in particular are well suited for the job because they can be lifted into beds if a person is immobile. They also can be held more easily than larger dogs. When it comes to therapy dogs, temperament is most important. They should be friendly, gentle, and have a calm demeanor. They also should like to be petted and handled. Number 2 some of the A-list celebs who have cohabited with a Maltese include Elvis, Marilyn Monroe, Jane Fonda, Ellen DeGeneres, Jessica Simpson, and Elizabeth Taylor. A Maltese dog by the name of Lucky was authenticated by Guinness Book of Records as having been photographed with the most celebrities, a whopping 363. To date, this mini pooch has sat on the laps of Ken Kardashian, Kristen Stewart, Richard Branson, Bill Clinton, Hugh Grant, and County. Number 1 Take trouble, the Maltese worth $2 million. When real estate developer Leona Hensley died in 2007, she left $12 million to her pooch in her will. The government eventually trimmed the inheritance down to a measly $2 million, but that didn't stop the dog from living it up until her death in 2011. We'd like to invite you over to our Patreon page. While this is fun for us, it's become my full-time job, and YouTube ads just don't quite cut it. So, um, so any pledge will help a lot. Thank you. Who you got there? Uh, it's a funny guy. Oh. Want more fun final facts? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit the notification icon to not miss a single fact. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hey, this button works. Well, that other button also works. If you'd like to help us grow, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or clicking the PayPal link on animalfacts.us. And as always, catch you next time.